What's up guys, JV2017 here with another Taken King tips and tricks video. Today the Destiny community discovered the secret to getting the exotic Black Spindle Sniper Rifle, which is brand new. It's a new version of the Black Hammer, except it's exotic and it's at 310 light, which is very good, or attack. So. I'm gonna show you how to get it for yourself in this video. Now, you can get this weapon today by doing the daily heroic story mission called Lost to Light. However, no one really knows if it's only obtainable by doing the daily heroic or if you can also get it by just doing the mission on Light 240 individually. If it were the former, this would only work whenever the daily heroic story happens to be this mission, which honestly would kinda of suck. So. The only way we will truly find out is by doing the same mission tomorrow without the daily heroic and see if you can get it that way. So if I figure out that's the case, I will make that comment on this video to let you all know uh, tomorrow when I find out. But uh, no one really knows at this point. Uh, so basically do this as soon as possible. If you can, if you see this video in time, do it today on September 23rd. All right, let's get started. So. First off, I do want to say I recommend doing this with three people with a minimum of 290 light on everyone and 295 really helps in completing this thing and getting your black spindle. Okay, so like I said, you're going to want to run the heroic story and run through the first part of the mission. I didn't record this because it's not relevant. Run through the first part until you get to this ogre and then just lay into him. Just lay into this ogre, get it down as fast as possible because really this whole thing is all about timing. So just lay into this ogre and kill it as soon as you possibly can. And once you do that, you will get this kind of fog door blocking you. You'll have to go and get the crystal, I believe. Then you'll get this fake mission complete screen. Don't freak out when you see that, that's gonna happen. And then after everyone's done talking, the fog door will go down. And this is where everything begins. This is a timed run. You're gonna have to run through this next part as fast as possible and activate all of the rune doors along the way to one specific door uh, that leads you into the fallen catch, which is where you will be able to get your black spindle. As you can tell, I sped the video up quite a bit because really all you have to do, like I said, is run through and there'll be this first rune room. Just get one person to quickly grab it and throw it in the door and then make sure you stay alive. If one person dies, it's not the end of the world but don't wipe in this part especially so if you have a defender titan like i am go ahead and get them to pop the bubble right on the staircase like i did right here uh, this is a great way to just kind of ensure that no one dies uh, during that part that's a little difficult right there the second rune door there but once you get to this last rune area don't touch the runes just run straight forward this area and if you've done it fast enough this door will be open right here and this is the passageway to the catch and this is really the only part of doing the black spindle that you can really take a breath on you don't have to worry uh, when you've fa you know gone past that door you don't have to worry uh, so as you can tell I went ahead and switched to my Sunbreaker because we really needed a lot more damage uh, this took about three times to do so if you are playing a more defensive class go ahead and switch to your more offensive class for this part and head up the portal now, once you're inside of the catch, I believe this is where the 10 minute timer starts. And I sped up this gameplay again because this is quite a while. It's gonna take us about eight minutes and 30 seconds. So this first room is pretty easy, pretty self-explanatory. Just focus on killing as many taken as possible as quickly as possible. Um, you can really be quite efficient in this first room. We got the first room down in 50 seconds, which was really quick for us. Then you're coming through this area and kind of get ambushed, just split up. You know, if you die, it's okay, just don't wipe. Wiping is bad. So the second room is a little bit more difficult. My advice is to aim for all of the wizards. There are a ton of wizards here. Uh, just aim for all of them because they will spawn those stupid, you know, ghost shadow thralls and those are annoying. Aim for those orbs and also aim for these snipers on top. Um, they're really a pain. So this room, uh, you should probably take about two extra minutes on this room. Um, you know, that's, that's, that's a really good run, honestly. So two to three minutes, maybe even four if this is your first time running it. And then head through this little hallway. Of course, you guys remember this hallway from House of Wolves, you know and uh, that whole deal, I believe with Tanix maybe, I'm not sure exactly, but this is the final room. This is where you meet Drivix, and your objective is to kill Drivix. So 
This is the strategy I'm going to share it with you guys that my group used. Two guardians focus on Drivix, the boss, and one guardian focus on the ads. All of the other enemies focus on those. And really what you have to do is two things. You have to kill the boss, obviously, and you have to kill all of the ads. So if you kill the boss quickly and there's still a ton of ads, you got to kill those. Don't celebrate if you kill the boss, basically is what I'm saying. So you want to keep your entire fire team near this front area. It is just way too dangerous to go out. And this is coming from a light 296, you know, guardian. For me, as a Titan, even with a ton of armor, very dangerous to go out of there. You'll see me die a handful of times. And so two guardians, again, focus on the boss and one guardian focus on killing ads. And uh, really, if you're in a bind, don't worry about reviving your teammates because they can revive themselves. This is not like a darkness zone uh, or anything like that. Uh, where you can't revive your teammates, so don't worry about that. And these captain bubbles are the worst. When they throw them at you and they blind you, they are really hard to avoid. So really try to avoid those as well. And of course, supers are so useful in here if you're a sunbreaker. Uh, try to focus on killing those knights because knights are very annoying and captains as well in this. So once you down the boss like you see I did here with my fire team in the gameplay, you're going to want to focus on killing all the adds. And depending on how good your ad killing guardian has done, you know, that's how long it's going to take. Luckily, we down the boss with still like two minutes, 15 seconds on the timer. Then it took us another 45 seconds to kill all the rest of the adds and there you go, we finished it. So I was extremely worried because my black spindle didn't drop for me. It dropped for some of my teammates, but not me because I had my special uh, weapon, you know, category full, which scared the living Jesus out of me. So I ended up going back to the tower, as you can see, and it was waiting for me there. I was so excited. I was very worried when I first did this. So if yours is full like mine, it'll still be there. Do not worry. So just gonna show you guys the stats here. Of course, this weapon goes in your special weapon category and it's got the same perks as the Black Hammer, except it's exotic, of course. So we've got White Nail, which is great for bosses and Mulligan, and it's a solar weapon. So I hope you guys learned something new from this video. And if you did, remember to hit that like button. I'd really appreciate it. And also don't forget to subscribe to my channel for continued Taken King content. Talk to you guys next time. Peace.